Hey guys, Amber here. So I bought the original Aftershocks Trex Air back in June. i have been cycling for a couple of months. I saw these and thought, actually, they're a really good idea for cyclists and joggers. Um, basically working on the idea that they vibrate your skull rather than going in your ear and pushing the sound in that way. Much safer if you're cycling or jogging because you can still hear the environment around you. I bought them because they dropped the price from £150 down to £100. Um, I didn't know at the time I was late. They did this because they're on the verge of releasing their new model, the Aeropex. So the Aeropex were released for £150, the same price that the Trex Air had been. Um, but also, well, the reason I bought these ones, a few weeks back, Aftershocks did a challenge on Strava. You had to cycle 100 kilometers in a week, I think it was, which I've been doing for the last six months. So there was no way I was stopping just because of a bit of rain or bad weather. Um, and basically completing the challenge got you a code to get 20% off on their store. Um, I'll put the code down in the video description. It might, I think it's a fairly generic code. I forget exactly what it was now, but I'll put it in the, in the video description. So I've had these now for a week or two, um, and I'll, I'll give you some information comparing them to the Trex Air. So the Aeropex are 30% smaller and 13% lighter than the Trex Air, and they do seem a bit smaller. I couldn't tell you if they felt lighter or not, if I'm honest. Um, they have also removed the leak slayer holes in the air and made the headphone IP67 waterproof, which also reduced the sound leakage by 50%. That's great that they're waterproof, so if you're out in the rain, or even, I guess, you could wear them swimming, um, then that's fantastic. I can't really comment on the sound leakage because I'm wearing them. I don't really hear anyone else wearing them, so I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, they've also added Premium Pitch 2.0 Plus, ensuring optimal placement on the cheekbones delivers deeper bass, less vibration, and louder volume. Um, I would say loud enough now that they don't get drowned out by passing traffic. So I did find that a bit with the Trex Air, um, and I don't think I've really had that issue with the Aeropex. So they, they are a bit louder. Um, really much the same that applied to the Trex Air applies to the Aeropex. So they're very comfortable to wear for long periods. I was out cycling this morning for over two hours, no problems at all. Um, you have no problems when you're cycling, if you've got a helmet, a hat, glasses, they're fine, they work around them, it's not a problem. Um, there are also no problem, obviously, if you're jogging, you've got less to go on your head, I suppose, when you're jogging, but maybe a woolly hat. Again, that's fine, no problems there, I've been jogging with them, and you, you definitely can sound, uh, you definitely can hear better what's going on around you, which is obviously fantastic. The button, so I did sort of have a bit of a moan about the button on the last one, because the button was in the bottom left corner, and as you pressed it, it basically vibrated the whole sort of pad on the side of your head. Now, they've moved it now to the top right corner. Isn't a lot better, if I'm honest. It's still, as you press it, it still vibrates a bit on your head. So I have found that if I put my finger on the back and then I, I can sort of press without any concerns, not an ideal solution. I still don't quite know why they haven't put the button, put it around somewhere at the back or in the center, because then there's less rotation that's gonna happen. Whereas on the, one of the front edges, it's gonna rotate slightly on your skull. Battery life seems good. So these ones have a quoted of eight hours battery life. I've not used them to battery flatness. I've not used them until they've run out of battery, um, but I did use them for about three hours, including my cycle ride this morning. And the phone was reporting that they were at 60 odd percent still. So I think that probably eight, eight hours is probably about right. Um, podcasts still sound really good, like they did on the Trex Air. Um, as do phone calls. So I do find that I quite like wearing these sort of headsets just about the flat and for making phone calls. Um, I did sort of check in with the person when I was out and about about how I sounded. How do I sound? Because I'm on a different headset. And I was told I sounded, it sounded good and clear. Um, interestingly, quite often when I'm so I call my mum a lot of time walking back from the gym and there are a couple of parts where I'm on a busy main road and quite often she'll sort of say she can't hear what I'm saying, not with these on, but with other headphones because of all the traffic. When I had these on, she said, yeah, I mean, she could tell the traffic was there, but I guess because of the way they work by vibrating your head rather than pushing sound in, and I, I assume it works similarly for the microphone, it 
through vibrations of your head. Um, so it does seem like it does a better job of emitting the external ambient noise, which is a good thing to know. So should you buy them? Should you buy the Trex Air? Um, I think they are a good product. Both of them are good products. I think the Aeropex are better. And if the code works that gets them for £120, I would say probably get the Aeropex. Otherwise, £100 for the Trex Air, £50 cheaper may, may be the way to go. It depends on what your financial situation is like, I suppose. Um, but they are a good product. They do sound very good. I think they're a good idea for cyclists and joggers because they're just generally safer. Um, so they do get the thumbs up from me. If you haven't already, please do make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, check out some of the other videos that I've made. You might find those interesting as well. Please do leave a comment. Do you think they're a good idea? Do you own some? Are you thinking of getting some? Does the code work still? Um, I do read all the comments. But for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon.